So Kenny hasn't ran the, the dozer in a while and he just left and parked here. He completely backed over our pole, he didn't even notice and smashed our lights. And he was just saying how he wants to make, uh, put up some new poles. So I guess he has to do that now. The boys are here screening. I got Al and Jesse here, and uh, I just got back from dropping off my truck. The Tundra is having some issues with the radio on it, but. The topsoil pile has grown a crazy amount since the last time that you guys saw it. I'll do a voiceover on this part, but I'll quickly just kind of explain to everybody how this works. Some people in the last one were wondering about the amount of screens and everything, so let's do that. All right, what I'm showing here first is the mixing pile. That's where Al puts all the material and then works his bucket up and down and mixes light and dark material, carries it over up the ramp and drops it in the hopper. And here's some footage of him doing that. Okay, so once the material is loaded, you guys will see here the feeder belt inside the hopner kind of drops the material down onto the stacker belt on the actual screening unit. That unit that's lifted up out of the way, that's called a mulcher. We only use that when we're in really heavy soils. So that long conveyor going all the way up to the top drops it into this unit that I'm showing you guys right here, which is the actual shaker deck system. Okay, so dirt comes up from where I just showed you out of the hopner up here down onto our main primary deck which is a half inch screen so the dirt comes off that belt drops down onto this half inch screen and anything larger than half an inch gets rejected and thrown out and the rest gets thrown down into the bottom into eight millimeter harp strings and i'll show you guys a little up close of that these are the 8 mil harp strings, this is the inside of the unit. The soil then passes through the 8 mil harp string and it drops down into this unit. This is purely just a stacker unit now. This just cones up the material and gets it into a nice cone. I'll show you a little more up close of the actual harp strings here in the next video. So here you have our old outdated 12 mil harp strings. This is what I originally started with, but we were allowing too many pebbles and stuff to get through. So we made smaller adjustments into what I'm showing you here right now, which is our new set of screens, which is our six millimeter. These will go on once the soil dries out even more. Anything smaller than six mils will not pass through this, uh, giving us a awesome quality soil. So everything in action right here, as you can see, that's the shaker deck system, the clean dirt that's passing through eight mil screens currently dropping down, shooting all the way up this 60 foot stacker into a pile that at the time of recording this was 18 feet. And at the time of me talking right now, it's currently 35 feet high. So the eight mil screens really give us a really awesome clean material. And that's kind of the gist of how this unit works. A lot of people are always wondering about where we get our material from. And this pile, we have like about 10 or 12,000 cubic yard right now stockpiled at our yard. And behind me is the stockpile that we're into this year. So we come in here, grab the dirt, and then Al brings it over to the mixing section and then throws in some peat moss with it. That it's over on that side. Well, all the dirt isn't imported and that's why we're able to keep our costs down right now is because we're not actually paying to import material. The only thing we are importing is the peat moss, but we get a really good deal on that and we have a really good line with a guy that sells it. I'm very thankful for that and that honestly allows me to make profit on it as well as sell it to customers at a reasonable price. What's going on all my cool cats and kittens? It's Carol Baskin here.
the tailings, the reject that comes off the end, they have to be scooped. Um, and they have to be pushed out of the way or else they pile up and then back up onto our stacker, which is no gut. How we can actually improve this and make it better. What I would like to do is find, you know, 20, 30, 40 thousand dollars somewhere in the business that I can actually buy another 60 foot stacker. My voice just cracked, I'm going through puberty. A 60 foot stacker that would be able to sit right on the edge of the tailings where they come down, just like the stacker that we have that stacks up our main pile. That completely would speed up production and a lot of people actually already do this. Um, it's just a financial money thing for us. This is our fourth year. I think maybe next year we might be able to, to do something like that. Obviously we are reinvesting in the business in terms of you know sourcing locally peat moss, um, you know, that's a high quality that makes really good soil. Okay, we're wrapping up the week with one of my favorite things to do and that's floating. So me and Jesse are gonna bring the 20 ton down to a new house that we're doing. Permits were obviously in before all this stuff happened, so that's why we're allowed to do this job. I'll show you guys a little bit of an issue that we had. These are the main pistons here that lift up the entire trailer. The problem I was having was it was super, super slow. So we figured, well, we need to put hydraulic oil in it and not tank back here. And when we did that, we put a little too much in and the pistons were down when we filled it up. Totally our, my mistake. So then whenever we were lifting the pistons back up, we had oil just pour out everywhere. So we had to get an oil spill kit, clean it all up and degrease everything because I don't want to go down the road and get grease all over everything. But uh, we're ready to go. We're going to chuck this thing down here. Let's do it. We're gonna take it off now. Time to go back to the yard. We'll load the 308. I might not move it today, but let's hook everything back up.
was pretty satisfying, at least I thought it was. Oh, so much stuff happened this week. It was insane. Not only did we get 2,000 cubic yards piled up here in the yard, I'm currently looking at a pile of topsoil that is the best quality that we've ever made. And that's why I market it as the best soil in all of Canada. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit about the screening operation. If you guys have any more comments, questions, concerns, I want you guys to leave all that stuff in the comment section down below and I will answer it. I will show you guys. I will get more in depth, whatever you guys want to see with it. But that being said, you guys saw us drop off the 20 ton shovel. We are starting a new home build on Monday. That's gonna be awesome. It's nice to have that job right now, this time of year. Not alone. I don't know what I'm doing right now. I'm not supposed to be touching my face. And I guess lastly, I do wanna remind everybody that the best thing that you can do, yes you, is hit the subscribe button. Uh, I know that you guys hate when people tell you guys to do that, but honestly, if I don't remind you guys, because I think we're at, 42% of you guys still aren't subscribed that are watching the video, so please support, do it that way. That's the best way to support me and the channel and our business and our team and just everybody involved. Our Instagram is always, always happening and always a fun place to look. At KWC2000, head over there for a bunch of crazy stuff to be honest with you. All right, bye, have a good weekend. Happy Friday, woo! <laughs>